Well, good afternoon, church family and friends, visitors, everyone who is watching or will be watching. Uh, my name is Trey Poole. I am the minister of the gospel right here at and for the Op Church of Christ. I'm excited to be with you today for our 4 o'clock devotional. Hoping and pray that you've had a blessed day as well. Kind of humid out there, uh, scattered showers and things, a lot of things happening, I'm sure, uh, in your life as well. But again, thank you for taking a few moments to join us as we get back into uh, our question. Uh, and that is, where is he? Now, the first question in the Old Testament is from God to Adam, where are you? Well, the first question of the New Testament uh, is found in Matthew chapter 2, and it is uh, in reference to Jesus and King Herod. Uh, King Herod wanted to know where where is he who is born uh, the Christ child. He wanted to know where Jesus uh, was born so that he could uh, go and, and worship him. But we know that Herod, uh, the king, wanted Jesus dead. So the question, where is he? Where, where do we find Jesus? Now, I have to confess, all, all of this uh, originated uh, several weeks ago when I was thinking about our, uh, our oldest, our daughter Ashlyn. She's getting married in August. And uh, kind of thinking about uh, the 23 years that she has been uh, around. And when she was little, getting ready to go to preschool, uh, I was videoing her uh, as we were getting ready to uh, drop her off. And uh, zoomed in on her right there at the end before I left. And I told her, uh, I said, uh, say hi to mom. And uh, she looked at me in the video and she said, where is she? Where she is? That's what she said, where she is, in that little sweet, uh, innocent voice, where she is. But anyway, that got me to thinking about uh, this question uh, that King Herod wanted an answer for. Where is he? Where is he? So as you examine the, the life and the ministry of Jesus, we find Jesus in a variety of different situations dealing with uh, certain people, a lot of people. And today I want us to focus on how we find Jesus focused on his mission. Focused on his mission. We know what his mission was. Uh, in Luke chapter 19 and verse 10, uh, the scripture says, For the Son of Man did not come uh, but to seek and to save that which is lost. That's why he came. That's his mission uh, in a nutshell, to seek and to save that which is lost. The, one of the greatest scriptures, perhaps the most well-known and well-quoted verses in all the Bible, also helps us to understand uh, the focus uh, of Jesus on his mission. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You see, the mission of Jesus uh, was a mission of salvation, a, a mission of forgiveness. And we find Jesus bringing that mission to a close there uh, on the cross as he died for you and he died for me. He died for the ungodly, those so unworthy, but yet he was so focused uh, on the Father's will. In fact, your Bible says in Romans chapter 5, beginning in verse number 6, for when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But God, but God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Oh, he came to taste death for every man, Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 9. Jesus came and he was focused on his mission. And aren't you glad that he was focused uh, on the mission uh, that he had been given by uh, the Father? You see, Jesus came to do the Father's will, the will of the Father, not his own. In fact, his prayer on many occasions was, Father, not my will, but thy will be done. Well, at the ripe old age of 12, we find Jesus there in Jerusalem uh, in the temple. Mary and Joseph didn't know where he was. They couldn't find him. They've been searching for him, and they find him in the temple. And uh, they begin to question him on to why, why he had done this to them. They were worried, uh, scared. They didn't know where he was. 
And in Luke chapter 2, verse 49, Jesus, Jesus told them, Didn't you know that I must be about my father's business? About my father's business. You see, again, Jesus had a mission, and he was focused on that mission, even as a 12-year-old. So, what about us? What about you? What about me? Are we focused on our mission as well, like Jesus was? In fact, in Philippians, Philippians chapter 2, beginning in verse number 3, Paul says, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So, are we focused on our mission? Our mission of evangelism, going into all the world and preaching the gospel? on the mission of edification, building one another up in the love and in the power and in the grace of Almighty God? Are we busy in the Father's business, actively involved in, in benevolence and edification and evangelism? Paul says in Galatians 5 verse 13 that we are to uh, serve one another through love. So, are we busy doing the Father's business or our own? Do we have our own personal agenda? Put, putting the things of God, the business of God on the back burner and more focused on what we want to do. Well, we need to be like Jesus in the fact that we need to be focused on his mission. His mission is to be our mission. Especially as Christians, we should want to reach out and help others come to know Jesus and for them to be able to obey the gospel. So we've got to be focused on the mission that Jesus had because it is our mission as well, to go into a lost and dying world. So I want to challenge all of us with that today. Be like Jesus and let us be focused on his mission of seeking and saving that which is lost, going after that lost soul, just like that lost sheep that Jesus went after. The 99 were safe but he went after the one that was lost. Well, we need to do the same. We need to set aside our own personal agendas, and we need to be as Jesus was about the Father's business. Well, church folks, church family, uh, please please be reminded. I will share this with you again later tonight as we have Bible class at 6. Uh, but tomorrow is uh, Food for Friends. Uh, Food for Friends truck is coming tomorrow, and so also is our produce truck. Both trucks are coming tomorrow, so uh, if you can help us, please be here at the building by 10 o'clock. But stay grounded, stay connected, stay safe. Church family, if you need me, you know you can call me. You can send me a message. Let me know how I can reach out and serve you. If you have an update or information on someone or a cir circumstance that someone's facing, please let me know. Uh, even if you think I may know, just let me let me know and uh, pass it on. Uh, our elders are available, church family, so make sure uh, that you reach out to them if you need help of any kind. But we love you, God bless you, and take care. And don't forget to join us tonight at 6 o'clock right here again for our Bible class tonight as we begin to unpack and study a lesson entitled Victory in Jesus Through a Christ-like attitude, a Christ-like attitude. Join me tonight as we study the Word of God together. May God bless you.